On the 28th of March, I went to Gare de Lyon to board the train Freccia Rossa to Lyon to meet up with my friend. Reading on a train with the panoramic views of cities and countrysides is one of the simple joys in life. I was reading a book on Monet that I got from Musée Longjoy. Boarding a train on my own with my huge ass luggage also made me feel incredibly independent. Of course, most of the time some chivalrous people offer help. Protests swept through the entire France, a common sight to us already. We calmly had lunch at Place Belgueur. Lyon is the third largest city of France. Vieux Lyon, which means Old Lyon, is my favourite. Of course, Lyon is known for its gastronomy. Here in Le Bistro de Fille, we had the most amazing dinner throughout my month in France. It's believed that in the 16th century, chefs brought from Florence by Catherine de Medici combined with the region's fresh produce with their cooking expertise. The result is Lyon's long-standing fame as France's capital of gastronomy. I've rather bland taste but so Lyon's cuisine, which is defined by simplicity and quality, is right down my alley. This pomme au feu was the dream of my life. The plan of the second day was just to chill. From the bridge, Vieux Lyon looks like a fairy tale. We went to the best bakery in Lyon. I'll tell the tragedy about the quiche later. Promise me to try breakfast gossips in France. We then headed over to the La Ronde to chill out, reading, appreciating the city from distance, feeling the gentle breeze and the sun. The Madeleine was not the best. I'll share in my later videos the Madeleine de Proust, literally the best Madeleine of my life. tragedy was, we first missed our train because of the traffic jam. Luckily there was another train on the same day. As I wanted to seek comfort from my lovely quiche, I discovered to my absolute horror that countless, perhaps thousands of ants were crawling on it. I chucked it on the floor because I was taken aback and dumbfounded. My friend helped me throw it away later. I got pulled sandwich, which tasted better than it actually was because I was a sobbing kid.